Hello, welcome back. This is going to be the second video out of four for this little mini CTF series. This one we're gonna be going over a packet capture to try and figure out what happened. So let's just dive right into it. Okay, the challenge that we're gonna be doing is this dauntless defacement for 300 points here. Basically says one of the DNS Corp staging HTTP servers has been breached. Attackers calling themselves elite hacker have defaced the DNS lookup page. Unfort oh, and fortunately, DNS Corp has a very good logging capabilities and has captured the attacker's activity in a packet capture. Can we figure out what else the attackers did on the system? Let's take a look here. We're gonna download this packet capture, which I already apparently had downloaded, <laughs> and we will go from here. Now, since I know we're primarily focused on this HTTP server, I'm just gonna go ahead and filter out just HTTP. I can already see that we have staging DNS lookup information in here, um, but there's obviously a ton of different protocols and packets that we have that aren't really gonna be much of a help to us right now. So let's take a look at the HTTP messages. We have a couple get requests here. Um, we can kind of pull this down and see what's going on. We have some posts. Let's take a look at that. Looks like form item, people are just typing in the, H the um, IP address. And I'm just gonna go through these. I don't know if there is a better way to kind of parse through these logs I'm, there probably is, but this is what I know how to do. Let's take a look a little bit more. We should have a few more of these. Okay, this looks interesting because we see we have an IP address, but then afterwards, it looks like they were able to exploit and add more information here and start up a netcat session on this IP address with um, on this port 1337. So that is information that we did not have before and that is interesting information. And then right underneath, pretty close after, I see this hack.zip file. So let's see if we can get the zip file. I, this is the way that I do it. You might have your own way that you get zip files. If that works for you, do it that way. Or if you don't know, you can just kind of go along with what I'm doing here. We're gonna export objects under file. We're gonna hit HTTP, and then I'm gonna find it right here, this hack.zip. I wonder if I can make this any larger. Hopefully you're able to see it well enough, but we have the hack.zip file selected, and we're gonna go ahead and save that. I already have a folder set up for this CTF challenge, so let me save that. Next, what I'm gonna do is try and unzip that file here. So let's go into ls. Um, we're gonna cd into our created directory here. ls again. And cd into the defacement challenge. Okay, we have the zip. Let's just give it a go. Okay. So after typing in hack.zip to unzip it, it looks like there is a password. Hopefully that password is in this packet capture. If not, we're gonna have a rough time. So let's try and see if we can find that password here. Now we have, there's a couple of things that I wanna do. My first thing is I kind of want to just find information based off of the IP address associated with that file. So let's see if we can. The IP address source here is gonna be this 192.168.1.197. So let's try and find that. Let's try it that way. We'll see if that works. Okay, here we go. So we see packets that have to do with this IP address here. Now, I'm gonna see if we can follow the TCP stream and see if we're able to find this password somewhere in here. Uh, looks like there's some Python activity, export shell, interesting. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. 
list, and we're just scanning this file to see, okay, we have the hack.zip here, unzipping it, and they put in the password, and we're actually able to get that. So let's try and see if this password will unzip that file and see if we can go through. And it worked, okay. So we unzip the file, there's two files in there, index.html and secrets.txt. Let's see what we can find in the secrets, secret.txt file here. Okay, and we have a flag. Two bad threat actors are no longer this easy to find. Let's see if that is going to give us the points. Awesome. This is great. Now that was a just quick demonstration on how I think the important thing is you can download a zip file. Obviously, as the own flag says, it's not quite that easy anymore. But if you ever run into this on another CTF challenge, you will definitely be prepared. And I will see you on the third video where we're going to go over the next challenge. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any comments about this challenge. And if you're interested in doing one of these challenges with us, make sure to follow Black Hills Information Security when they are running their uh, mini CTFs. They do them pretty frequently. And the Cyber Range is honestly like a great way to learn. So I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.